This video is sponsored by Grammarly. My day started with a self haircut. I usually cut my hair most of the time throughout the year. I probably go to a barbershop once or twice. I don't really know how to cut hair, but my hair curls up a lot, so I don't really need to make it super straight and even. Like, you can't even tell if it's not even, luckily. A couple of tasks I wanna get done today, so I'm gonna do some work first and then catch you guys up to speed. Keep busy at something because a busy person never has time to be unhappy. I feel like if I were to think back at a time where I was pretty unhappy and unmotivated, it was a time when I worked as a developer and did nothing else after work. I remember there was like a year, I think like 2020, I wasn't doing YouTube. After clocking out at like five, six o'clock, I pretty much just watched shows and ate dinner and then went back to work the next day. Not doing anything that was big picture for myself. Anyway, with that said, I've taken up a new venture. Thought about doing this since like 2021, but now I'm really gonna start thinking about merch and designing my own clothing line. Behind the scenes, this is something that's been in the work for a minute now. What I've been working on is uh, one, like getting samples. Of course, I'm going with black because everything I wear is black. There's clothing design, which at first I was gonna hire somebody to do the designs for me and then I I decided just to like play with Adobe Illustrator myself. What I found was web dev and web design is very similar to like clothing design. So, and just today I sent my designs over to the team that's handling my manufacturing. Today, I also bought a domain name. I think the biggest roadblock for me starting merch is just like, I didn't know what to put on the clothes. I don't have any sayings on this channel. So coming up with a brand name uh, was something that I've been working on and finally landed on something, but the domain name brand.com was taken. I ended up negotiating with the guy that owns the domain. I settled on paying $670 for the domain name, and uh, it's pretty worth it. Having the .com is so powerful, but domain squatting when like you hold on to a domain just to like sell it one day, it's such a, I don't know, I don't know how I feel about it. Same thing with Rate My Dorm and Rate My Dorms. The guy I bought it from held on to the domains for like 10 years. I ended up buying both of those domains for 2,500 as like a package deal. And now I just spent another $670 on another website domain. But you know, business expense, it's been very motivating and exciting to see this actually move forward. So for the merch, stay tuned. I've been a Grammarly premium member for over two years now. And as someone that writes a lot of emails and writes a lot of posts, Grammarly is a productivity tool that I can't live without. And if you're trying to stay productive, Grammarly is a top tool that I'd recommend. The biggest benefits that I've seen personally are one, saving time writing emails, thanks to them always grammar and spell checking me. And two, giving suggestions on sentence rewrites to adjust my tone to make me sound more confident. Their tone rewrite suggestions work great, especially if you're a professional, because good writing can help you build strong relationships and get things done at work. If you're like me and sometimes come off as uncertain in your emails, Grammarly's premium tone rewrite suggestions lets you know ways you can change up your writing to make you sound more capable and sure. So I'm now running a team and getting more serious with my startup, which means I'm doing a lot more professional writing, both on emails and on Slack. So for me, communicating effectively is really important for me to move things forward, and Grammarly really helps me with that. You can download Grammarly which easily integrates in your daily life. It works where you work, such as Google Docs and email. The right tone can move your projects forward with the help of Grammarly. Go to grammarly.com slash jedcal to sign up for an account, and if you'd like to level up your writing and your tone, upgrade to Grammarly Premium for 20% off. I'm currently on the hunt for a new gym. I love starting new gym memberships. Today, I'm checking out the Equinox. They're giving me a free trial, but I do love the idea of starting a new gym membership. I think I get way more motivated when it's new spaces. Same when it's a new apartment. We'll see how it is. all the time. How do you get comfortable filming in public? Because it's so hard. And even for me, it's been like two years and I still have a hard time filming in public. I don't know, I'm trying to get better at it. All right, so I just wrapped up Equinox and uh, it's more expensive than my other gym at Chelsea. So I don't know if I'll sign. That was a good free trial. I like the gym. It's nice when it's empty especially. It has a good punching bag. I know these gym memberships are expensive, but I do believe that when it's more expensive and like you commit to making it a part of your lifestyle, then like, I just go more. All right, I'm gonna get some work done at a coffee shop. I have to do some work related to my brand ambassadors for Rate My Dorm, and I am paying them all out today, so I'm gonna head there right now. Has vanilla latte?
Dumbo and there's an event that I have to go to tonight and it's gonna be for the new Super Mario movie and I think the Chance the Rapper is gonna be there. I'm not sure, but that'd be crazy. It's gonna be at the Shake Shack that's like right there. So I'm gonna go right now. Take your kids to go see it. Take your parents to go see it. Hey, yo, let's keep eating burgers. Let's go, guys. Yeah. All right. Mike 